and welcome back to Aaron's Anxiety. I am your host, Aaron, your personal guide through anxiety. So, um, I hope everybody is doing great. I myself am, am having a wonderful day. Life is good as always. Uh, but I wanted to touch bases and I really wanted to wrap up the uh, killing anxiety in 2020. And for those of you that uh, are just now hearing about this, come on now. These are, these are the fundamentals, people. Okay, but if you haven't heard about them already, uh, it's a little list that I'm having. It, they're all titled Killing Anxiety in 2020, and usually they'll say like parentheses, this or that, and it's just a short little series about things that are going to fix your anxiety, and so today I'm going to have another one of those, and this is really the one to kind of wrap them all up, okay? So there are many, many things you can do for anxiety. The ones that I've labeled out in the Killing Anxiety in 2020 I feel are the fundamentals. I feel like if you don't have these ones, you don't have anything, okay? So we need to start with these and build from there, okay? So if you haven't already, check those out. Also, before I forget, like the video. If you find these helpful, other people will too. So like the video, it'll help a lot. And if you haven't already, subscribe or also subscribe to the Aaron's Anxiety Family on Facebook. Okay, so today, this is the, this is the, the little, cherry on the end of the killing anxiety at 2120 Sunday okay and that is don't leave me now your support system we've done all the fundamentals friends I mean things from avoidance behavior to uh, diet to patience everything these are the most important and to top it off, you have to have a good support system, okay? And that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have a psychiatrist or somebody that you're paying uh, to help you through these problems. Uh, what you need to have is somebody in your corner that is that, that that is on your side and on your team for you to get better, okay? So hear me out here. Now, I'm going to tell you something, and I need you to know this because this is very, very important, okay? And I want you to look at me because I want you to feel the love in my eyes when I tell you this, okay? This will not be easy. This isn't going to be easy. But I will tell you that it is worth it, okay? You're going to have setbacks for sure. That's okay. It's okay if you feel like you're progressing and then you have a few bad days or if you have a bad week or whatever. That's all part of it, okay? It's not going to be easy, but it's definitely worth it. So don't shortchange yourself by not doing these things, doing these fundamentals, okay? Write them down, practice them every day, and I promise you, whether you're on a medication or not, or whatever you're doing, they will help tremendously, okay? So as far as your support team goes, Aaron's Anxiety YouTube, I try to be a... a, a, a cheerleader for you guys you know what I mean I try to back you guys up as best I can with knowledge and uh, routine and things that you can do to better your situation with anxiety but there's also the Aaron's anxiety family I say it in almost every video that there's a whole page on Facebook of people in all different stages of anxiety that have your back that you can say hey I'm feeling afraid about this what do you think oh I'm trying this new what do you think about this Use these people to your advantage. They're wonderful, wonderful people, okay? I've, I've talked to many of them myself. I've helped a lot of them through their anxiety. They've helped me through my anxiety. It's a beautiful place to be, okay? So you do have that. There's other pages, I'm sure, on Facebook as well, okay? You need to find the ones that are beneficial, okay? Not the ones that everybody is you know, putting out triggers and there's trolls and, I mean, just with my page alone, okay, I have three people that, including myself, uh, that are in charge of vetting people into the page. You have, that's why I say you gotta answer the questions because we're trying to vet out the trolls, okay? There's a lot of people that are suffering because they choose to suffer. You have to, that's a weird concept, I know, but there's people that, for lack of a better term, have shortchanged themselves in the process of healing their anxiety and are bitter about it and they want other people to be uh, ridden with anxiety and be bitter as well, okay? That's not you, that's not your life. That's none of your business. Your business is focusing on you and getting you better, okay? It is possible, it is probable, and they're literally, 
everybody is in your corner to make sure that you get there, okay? So outside of that though, it is great, okay? If you have a significant other, a spouse, a girlfriend, whatever, a best friend, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be a, a significant. It could be your best friend, or a friend, or a mom, or a dad, or an uncle, or whoever, a neighbor. It doesn't matter. As long as you need somebody to get this information out to, somebody that's in your corner that will listen to your story and feel for you, okay, and understand that hey, they're going through a hard time right now. This isn't easy for them. What's something that I can say to make them feel better? Now, granted. Don't treat these people like they are your psychiatrist, okay? Or like they're trained to do this, because they're not. So the odds are is they're going to say several things uh, that either won't make sense to you or that's just a dumb thing to say to someone with anxiety. Like when people say, well, I just try not to think about it. They're probably gonna say that and that's fine. Don't bash them for saying it. They don't know, they're trying to help as best they can with the limited knowledge that they have. You gotta keep in mind, most people don't have an in-depth knowledge about anxiety or mental health for that matter. And we're kind of on the, the, the frontier of mental health um, as far as being able to publicly say it and not be uh, chastised for it, okay? So this is a new concept for people. People are learning as we go, okay? Uh, but just getting that stuff out there, verbally saying these things are going to make you feel so much better. It's just like a take these weights off the shoulders. Ah, I got it out there. And my, my, my brain needed to hear it. And I, I always tell everybody all the time, if you're not talking to yourself, you're crazy. Seems a little counterintuitive. Usually think that people, oops, usually think that people that are talking to themselves are the one that's crazy. That's the opposite, okay? You are in a struggle between your conscious brain and your subconscious brain. Back here, he's doing his thing. And uh, so you, I would, I remember when I was in the thicket of anxiety, I would constantly talk to myself. And I didn't come up with this. I learned it through somebody else that had already been there. Okay, talk to yourself. Let yourself know you're working on it, okay? Because your subconscious brain takes all this in. You know what I mean? So I used to talk to my subconscious brain like it was a whole other person. Okay, like, hey man, I, I'm sorry that this happened. I'm sorry I didn't take the, 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 I'm sorry I didn't take the hard road earlier to get myself to where I am now. I, like, I shouldn't have done this to myself. I shouldn't have drank and ate all that sugar and caffeine and let this anxiety build up on me. And I'm sorry. Apologize to yourself. You need to, okay? You, something, you've done this, okay? Not every time that someone has anxiety is it not because of them. And so many times it's because of us and sometimes we wanna blame other people. Oh, my parents never told me how to deal with anxiety or I had this traumatic experience over here. Stop. Those, those factors may be there, okay? But that's, we need to take some responsibility for some things that we know we could have done differently, okay? Now, I know everybody's situation's different, so I want to try to be, you know, supportive of everybody, okay? But you got to keep in mind, I'm one guy, okay? That the airings, anxiety people, all the people on the page, you know, there's, there's, I think, somewhere between 250 and 300 of them. They're still, they've got their situation, their lives going on. Um, we're going to do the best we can, but try to find somebody in your life that can be a support to you and be a benefit to you. Um, and I think you won't have to really go that far. Many people in this life, there's a few things that we want and one of them is acceptance, okay? And I feel like if, even if you were to take a side friend and pull them aside and say, look, you're a friend of mine and I just want you to know that uh, I trust you and I wanna let you know what's going on in my world. I, mean, I just kinda feel like you're a good person I can vent to and if you don't mind, I would like to tell you a couple things about me. You know what I mean? People love that stuff. You know, they'll love to be on your team, okay? Just try it out. Don't be afraid, don't be weird. Like I said, it's the new age of mental health. It's time that we learn to fix these things like when you have a headache. If you have a headache, you don't have a problem telling people you have a headache, do you? Oh, I got a headache, I need some uh, Excedrin or some aspirin. But if you say, oh, I'm having some anxiety, don't feel weird about that. That's fine. That's just like having a headache. It's temporary. It's going to go away and you'll be fine. All right, friends. Okay. I'm going to leave this video here. This is going to wrap up the Aaron's anxiety of killing anxiety in 2020. Please, please, 
please put these things into practice. I I 100% can tell you that you will find benefit in these. Like I said, go back if you haven't or if you need to re-up the information, write it back down. Write it down on paper. I keep trying to express to people how important that is. Write it down on paper. Post it in your mirror for the morning time of these things that you know that you need to work on, okay? Whatever they are, all right, friends? And until next time, I'm Aaron. I'm on your team. I love you. You're awesome. And I'll see you in the next video.